If you cannot already tell, when my hair is curly, all is well with the world. Today I've teamed up with Julia Hair and they sent over one of the best selling styles of hair on the market. This kinky curly hair is for sure, for sure a banger that you need in your collection. Today I'll be giving you a very beginner friendly start to finish install. This one here is a 7x5 closure wig with pre bleach knots. Is super versatile and easy to comb your fingers through and the icing on the cake is this one comes with very natural kinky edges I'll be giving you my thoughts and details on this wig while also sharing how to install her all by yourself at home to perfection you don't have to be a stylist to achieve this look you just have to have a little bit of Wi-Fi and a little patience so if you want to see how I got this look let's get started Jumping right into it, this is our girl straight out of the box. If you haven't already heard, this is the top selling quality hair on the market. She is a kinky curly 7x5 lace wig. As you guys can see, she comes with pre bleach knots, pre cut lace, and then the perfect hairline to match. They include the grooves for you to be able to include a adjustable removable elastic band, which is in our package, and I'll show that in just a moment. This is a kinky curly wig, and she comes with the beautiful natural natural edges this one comes set as a center part but of course you have seven by five to part all around to get your desired look this is what our wig would look like being set as a side part that beautiful seven inches of parting of parting space is definitely going to be absolutely gorgeous so i'm going to go ahead and pull the hair back and we're going to get started on this install so what you kind of can do is just take a comb and kind of just comb them out a little bit using your finger and a rat tail comb for me this is how i can kind of gauge and see like the density on them and what i want to do with them the length on them and all of the above for me i was deciding do i want to pluck them out or keep the density do i want to trim them lower or keep the length you kind of can go in and just take your time to decide i decided my first order of operation would be to just add a little bit of mousse mousse makes everything better as it does help to melt the hairline and that lays down it also will soften and like texturize the curls naturally and that way it gives us a better grip to go in and start the customization process so for me i did decide to go in and tweeze these down i definitely want to give a lot more of a natural look you may not get your desired look all together at first but what I like to do especially with a hairline like this is to go in and kind of just start the shaping process and then go in and like melt the lace and kind of just let all of that set together and I promise you it's going to be so much easier to put a finishing touch on it once you remove the melt belt that will give you your desired look without spending too much time and then also without like getting frustrated or burnt out on styling your hair so while that goes in and just does its natural thing we can go in and play with the ends you guys already know mousse is my favorite thing if you have a mousse that you like that you've never seen me use on this channel feel free to leave it in the comments and i'll be sure to order me a bottle and try it out mousse is my favorite and i just feel like there's so many mousse out there and i have and tried them all so maybe we should maybe we should just go on a quest to try all the mousse with all of our textured curly and wavy hair to see what we love because right now a lot of body is one of my favorites because it's affordable and it gets the job done if you guys remember how beautiful these kinky curly curls look like out of the box we definitely kind of broke them apart and reclumped and we do have a different look so if you want to keep the straight out of the box look i would recommend adding your product um, and maybe even some water and using your fingers to style the ends and you guys can see on this side we did go ahead and get it pretty much dry and you guys can see how much the hair shrinks once you go ahead and diffuse again you can just allow your hair to air dry but this kind of gives you a more controlled drying process not only does it speed it up but sometimes if you let your hair air dry and you are like in the car or in the bed or laying down or even just going out into the elements your curls can definitely come out a little bit more frizz and then i also find that a diffuser will give you a lot more volume so there are definitely pros and cons obviously the easiest thing to do is just to allow it to air dry but once mine was 
pretty much almost done we have some beautiful curls a flawless hairline you guys can see on that left side um it definitely hadn't like um diffused enough because it was giving longer than the opposite side and that's just because it wasn't as dry so i went ahead and diffused a little bit more and then i'm just adding a little bit of mousse on top because i like my ends to look super super juicy and never too dry so i don't want to like change of the texture but just more like squeeze a little bit more product in there for a more moisturized vibe so i think we got the look done here and i love the way it came out very very natural very very gorgeous i'm absolutely in love with the way this one came out she's very easy to install beginner friendly she has a nice gorgeous natural look if you're not into the natural baby hair you can definitely purchase this without the baby hair for a different hairline look again this one is the number one best selling look so you for sure want this one in your collection i'll have all the details as well as a direct link down below thank you guys so much for watching